What's going on everyone? It's Double D once again. So I finally hit 20,000 miles on my T-Dub. So I bought it basically brand new in October 2019 with 20 miles on it. And then the other day I finally hit 20,000. But here are some highlights with the T-Dub I've had from 20 miles to 20,000. About to break 100 miles. Hell yeah. 100 miles, woo! <laughs> First 100 down. 100,000 to go. <laughs> Some mud. Uh, oh, hello. Oh. Oh. My socks were dry. <laughs> How did I make it through that? So basically, long story short, I lived up in Washington for five years, and 2017-ish, I picked up the XR650R, which is an awesome bike, by the way. But tight single track in Washington, it's a big, cumbersome, awkward, heavy bike. So I wanted something a little bit tinier of electric start for that type of riding, and long story short, I picked up that T-Dub, and it's been an ongoing story ever since. Also, being in the Navy, like you have to move a lot from time to time, so my time up in Washington was coming up to an end, and I had orders down here to China Lake. So basically, I left Whidbey Island kicking and screaming, and then I got here, then it was just a whole nother world. There's just a whole different type of riding, and just open, there's so many options, it's just amazing. During that time, too, I had a girlfriend. But then I think the T-Dub had too much power for her, so I, she's, I scared her away. She hasn't came back. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one right there. Oh! 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 Look at him! Let's go climb these rocks and look at them. On one of the T-Dub rides I did up to Lone Pine, I met these random supermoto riders and they were the nicest people you could imagine. And then I met up with them the next day and we checked out this awesome mine on the bikes. So basically at the beginning of the pandemic, we wasn't really working that much. So I basically had a whole month and a half off and I probably logged 200 to 300 miles some days on the T-Dub and just racking up all the miles, exploring every little corner of Death Valley. One of my personal favorite videos I've made on my T-Dub is I went solo moto camping in July of 2020 and these random people set up camp next to me, which I was kind of annoyed at first, but they happened to be so much fun. <laughs> Oh, oh god! Oh! You won so many lows, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, that was my foot, and I hurt a lot actually. 2020 was a really good year of riding on a T dub. I've logged so many miles where I put over 10,000 miles within the first year. Oh god! No! Oh! <laughs> Just a hair of gas in this side. Might be just enough to get me to the gas station. Yes. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> 
Oh my me, this is a bicycle. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I made it. This bike has given me so much joy over the years. But unfortunately, beginning of 2021, something major happened and it was a huge setback for me. I turn around. gosh so oh no oh no oh no uh oh what is going on with this bike I was going and I just started grinding and Fuck! No! No! <laughs> no! Lesson learned, have fun with this bike and cruise with it, but don't use it as your daily to do 65 miles an hour for like a year and a half straight. This is what happened. Okay kid, ain't looking good. These are supposed to line up up and down, and they're on an angle. So, thinking the rod broke because it did hit the hit the valve. The valve stuck and bent. Get your wallet out, kid. We're working in uh, my buddy John Landowski's shop. There's where he's going to be buried in. John is uh, he has to use a, a crate to see in the bottom or the top of his toolbox because John's about five foot four. And you know, these little guys gotta buy the biggest toolbox. Here we go. We'll uh, take lots of pictures, a couple videos, let you know what we got, kid. No, he did good. I, I, Dustin, John says you did bad, but I say you did pretty good. There's your piston, and there's the bent rod. Uh, looks like the rod's junk, the cylinder's junk. Pistons junk, valves are junk. All junk. You're all junk. Um, we're thinking about welding a chain on it right here and using it as a boat anchor. All right, bud. We're looking in the bottom of your motor, and uh, we got lots of parts and pieces. We got a case broke too, I guess. Where's yes, the case sir. broke? Oh, we got a case crack too. Yeah. You got a few parts down in the bottom. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she needs a little work. Yeah, she. She needs a little work, buddy. This one, this one's used up. This one's uh, yeah. We might make a boat anchor out of it. We're not sure yet. All right, Dustin. Uh, we're buttoning her up. We got the piston in, cylinder in. Got everything. Uh, Sandblasted, cleaned up. She's coming together, bud. <laughs> Here we go. Get a lift. So I sent the original engine back home in a Walmart cooler. So I went on eBay, bought a used bottom end, a brand new top end, a new piston and rings, all that stuff. And I sent it to my dad, and he rebuilt it and sent it back in that same Walmart cooler. And it was time to slowly break it in. There's a tank out here. <laughs> no way. Load her up. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Shit. Do I want to go down that way? Not really. 
Turn on light bar. Yes! <laughs> yes, dude. Well, boys, we know what to do. Let's hit 20,000. All right, boys, we got one more mile to go. 19,999 miles. We gotta find a cool spot to hit it at. One. Two. And as we see here, we have a classic, what I call blow pro incident, where it just corrupts the file at the most important time of the video. But at least I have audio. Nine. Oh, God. Twenty thousand. Oh. All right, everyone. Pretty annoying. Corrupt file at the worst possible time. But, um, anyways, thank you for watching this video. Here's some upcoming little snippets of the next coming T Dub videos if you're interested. I'm thinking, you want to do the salt trim instead? Once again, thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comment section. And y'all have a good one now.